Hello, and thanks for watching this video. I'm Ansu Ha from MIT Media Lab. In this video, I'll be telling you about our research on contactless seismocardiography. This is a joint work with my colleagues Salah and Fadl. Our work is motivated by a simple question. Can you capture a person's heart recordings without any contact with the human body? Cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of the death in the world. It kills more people than all forms of cancer combined. In the United States alone, one person dies every 36 seconds from heart disease. Yet, numerous medical studies have shown that early diagnosis and continuous heart monitoring can lower fatality rates by 30 to 70 percent, depending on the type of heart disease. So why aren't all of us continuously monitoring our hearts? There are different approaches of heart recordings today. All of the approaches that can recover rich heart recordings have one thing in common. They all require contact with the human body, and many of them are quite, quite cumbersome. So if you want to get heart recordings, today you have to rely on these contact-based and fairly cumbersome devices. And even if you and I are willing to wear them, they are not suitable for certain sections of the population, like the elderly and the babies who are not comfortable wearing them. Not only that, these technologies are also not suitable if you want to monitor people from a distance. For example, today with COVID, many public places are monitoring the temperature of visitors from a distance in a contactless way in order to minimize contagion. So it would be great if we could also capture heart recordings remotely because, as some of you may know, COVID has been associated with lots of cardiovascular disease. There are there's many other scenarios uh, where you want uh, non-contact approaches for heart recordings. For example, burn patients or other patients with a sensitive skin. In this talk, what I want to tell you is how we can extract ex heart recordings without requiring any contact with the human body. The way we are going to do this is by relying on wireless reflections of the human body. Let me tell you how this works. Our device sends a wireless signal and it reflects off the human body and it comes back. The device uses these reflections in order to capture the tiny vibrations on the chest that correspond to the heart movements. So, whenever the heart contracts and relaxes, the captured reflections will exhibit peaks and valleys. In fact, our system can even capture microcardial events, which correspond to the opening and closing of heart valves that regulate blood flow between heart chambers. So, if I zoom in more on these signals, we can see that our system can detect, the, for example, the aortic valve closing, the isovolumetric contraction, the mitral valve uh, opening and the mitral valve closing and the aortic valve opening. Every time one of these valve opens or closes, it causes a tiny vibration which our system can detect and time. So we are able to extract the seismocardiogram, which is a recording of the human heart that measures the heart's seismic or mechanical movements. And it is these microcardiac events and their timings that have been used to diagnose various cardiovascular conditions. Our system is called RFSCG, and its architecture operates in three main stages. First, it zooms in on the heart reflection by using 4D cardiac beamforming. Then, it translates the wireless reflections into SCG waveforms. And finally, it automatically de detects labels and times the microcardiac events in the waveform. In a nutshell, RFSCG is a technology that allows us to capture and fully reconstruct SCG signals without requiring any contact with the human body. It is based on novel hybrid pipeline that combines signal processing with deep learning 
and consists of learnable, learnable uh, spatial temporal filters. And our results from over 40,000 heartbeats demonstrate that our system can automatically detect and precisely time of five microcardial events with 99% accuracy. Looking forward, I am very excited about pushing this project forward because it has the potential to help us address the single biggest cause of worldwide fatalities. And we are now working with medical doctors on testing our system on subjects with cardiac conditions, such as heart failure, coronary artery disease, and or ischemia. With this, I'll end my presentation. Thanks so much for watching this video.